all-star plumber right here in Athens, Alabama, servicing all of North Alabama. It's cruising with that old Mustang man, Eddie Pruitt Ford. We were over there this past Saturday. Tell you more about that. Got video too. Cruise in. Brad Stovall's Auto Body Shop. They're in Tanner, right off Highway 31. Brad's a good one. So y'all get in touch with him. Joseph. What's going on? Well, first and foremost, let's talk about uh, Lindsey Lane. You got a bad day today. Yeah. Uh, Brother Sonny and our, our, the Schofield family uh, got their funeral today. That'll be, uh, you know, it's sad, but, but yet I know it's going to be a celebration of Suzanne's life and, you know, just how strong the family was in their faith. But, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be hard because uh, Sonny's a dear friend to all of us and, of course, uh, their kids. Uh, Amber and, and Andrew, so keep that family in your prayers today. And that's today at 12 o'clock down at uh, Lindsay Lane uh, Baptist Church. All right, the Mustang Man, you're traveling next week. You're on vacation. I will be, uh, but I got a good video next week, so don't, don't so skip Brad's out. Brad's already got it, I guess. Yes. So we got it ready to go. He does. Uh, you want to talk about some pictures, pictures first? Yeah, go ahead and uh, Brad roll those. Uh, the Point Mallard uh, Car Show, I think this was their 27th annual antique car show, but they've expanded it to not just be the old cars. Uh, over 600 cars there, Jamie. Dang. It's a great show. Cars, trucks, bikes. Uh, 427 Nova there. You know, when I'm choosing some of these photos, a uh, beautiful uh, street rod Camaro there. I try to be unbiased, you know. I'm never um, that way. Well, I just want to try to get a little bit of everything. Cars, trucks, look oh, at that old Jeep. Jeep. Yeah, that thing's a rough rider. Frank, did you ever ride in one of those? Yes, sir. Uh, there's a Mustang right there. But it, it was, you know, they have this on the same field where they do the uh, balloon festival. Right. So there's plenty of room. They really keep the grass mowed down. Uh, there I am sporting off some of my photography skills. Looking uh, good. I thought that was a good shot. At least you didn't take Tom when you take a few shots. <clears throat> the, that's true. Jamie, this guy right here, I'm hoping to get him up here on the show and do a feature on this car. Uh, this was the most beautiful Nova I believe I've ever seen. Um, he was from the Hartzell area. A uh, lot of custom work, and I'm assuming he's going to start telling me who did the work. He said he did most of the work himself. 555 cubic inch engine. Um, can't wait to feature that guy up here. You know, on we the need show. to mention if folks want to bring their car up, all they got to do is get in touch with us, and we'll line that up. There's yes. a little sharp yes. one. Right. Is that a DeLorean? I don't know if that was a Bradley GT oh, or okay. what that was. Had wine glasses in the front, uh, in the bonnet, as they say. <laughs> uh, beautiful truck there. But uh, yes, please email me, uh, joesmustangs at gmail.com if you want to feature your vehicle, if you want to talk to us about, you know, any kind of custom work you, you do on cars, uh, or even, if, as you said, if you want to sell your car. That's right, and I, when we talked to you, yes, I talked to Wendy over at there, and they, that's a full-time bike job. There's a lot of people in. I didn't realize there was that much interest in rebuilding automobiles around here. Yes, I mean, the, the, the whole resto mod where they're taking the old vintage cars and putting a new chassis under it, a new suspension, drivetrain, I mean, Again, you get to have the old school car, but ride and perform just like a brand new Mustang or a brand new Vet or whatever. That's huge. We, we should go into that business, Jamie. Oh, yeah, I know a lot about fixing cars. <laughs> well, there's big money in it, big money. Uh, a lot of shows this weekend. There were so All many right. I filled the page up. Uh, Somerville uh, has got a show. It's a, it's a charity show. Uh, that's back in the woods. There's a lot of shade at that particular show. Uh, the Vets with Vets is sponsoring the uh, 10th Annual Charity Car Show at Milton Frank Stadium. Uh, you don't want to miss that one. $1,000 cash prize. Most of these shows are just $20 to enter. Um, so that's a really good one. Also, at Ingalls Harbor in Decatur is the uh, 15th annual Volkswagen. I was going to see if you had it because yeah, I had it right here. There I didn't you go. know if you had it. Bugging in July. Bugging in July. That's I mean, a, is that going to be all them old hippie looking vans like yes, that one right there? Yes, it is. Uh, bugs, vans, uh, uh, what's those things called? A thing? Remember yeah, those? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, those things are expensive now. That was made by Volkswagen. The yeah. little yellow looking thing looks like I'm, a big old ugly Jeep. I'm talking about $25,000, $30,000 those things are bringing at auction. Yes, sir. You How many years they make that thing? I don't Some remember. That yeah, that's the name of it, too. <laughs> it's isn't true. It? I didn't know if you had that. I had I it right did. here because I said, I bet he don't have this. No, I'm up on it, Jamie. And, and then also there's an open car show that's going in conjunction with the WC Handy Blues Festival, and that's at Wilson Park in Florence. Is that downtown? 
Yeah. Wilson Park, right okay. there by the post office. That's not at McFarland Park. That's a no, different. McFarland Park's on the river because we used to live in Florence. The post office is right down there. Gotcha. And then a final shout out to that third Friday in Decatur Cruise Inn. I'm telling you, if you haven't been to that yet, it's growing every month. The vendors, the restaurants, uh, antique shops, face painting. Well, it, speaking of that, Jeff Whitlow and the old barn band are performing on the Bank Street, Bank Street main stage down there uh, at 6 o'clock. Friday night Super. at Third Friday's in the, that's a, that has become a very, be, and they're also having a Nathan's hot dog eating champion, like, like the Joey Chestnut thing, mm -hmm. but they're going to have it downtown dogs and hot dog eating contest will be at Jones Park on 2nd Avenue. Indicator? Indicator for the Third Friday. Oh, wow. That'll be entertaining. So that's what I'm saying. There's just so much stuff going on that, uh, and it's very, uh, you know, you see kids with strollers and, and parents walking up and down, uh, a lot of good eating down through there. So don't miss that yeah, if you have got the restaurants down there. I was at a Sunday school class the last Tuesday when mm -hmm. I was off with my buddy Wally Terry. <laughs> and uh, we were talking about it, but downtown has got like four or five new restaurants. Is Jefferson's open? Jefferson's yet? is open, and yeah. uh, they've got that. You know, that's uh, I think that's almost guys out of Albertville. I think so. Deal over that way. There's pizza all right. places, Anything all kinds else? of stuff. No, that's about it. But like I said, stay tuned next week. I interviewed a guy at Franklin, Tennessee, at the Nashville Cars and Coffee. You don't want to miss it. If you've got something fancy you want to try to sell, we'll take a commission, bring it up, and we'll feature it <laughs> one Thursday outside up here. And the guy that he brought the hot rod up here for the 4th of July show, that was interesting, too. Yeah, I saw him over in Decatur at that show, and he thanked us again for, he said he got a lot of good feedback from the segment and people watching it on YouTube, and uh, so he appreciated that. So right. he's a good guy. All right, well, thank you, Joseph. Have fun on your vacation. We'll thank see you. you when you get back. Yes, and, sir. Uh, we'll, we'll take a break right now. We'll be right back in just a second. Y'all hang on. Special here today. Yes, do it. Yes, so boy, it's the right place. Uh -huh. No doubt about it. You're gonna have to have some of that sweet tea because it's too hot out here in all the shade. Saturdays <laughs> in Harsel. Sweet tea, Harsel. Sweet tea, Saturday. Yeah. Do you, in know, do you know me? <laughs> oh, Jamie Cooper. I believe I met you one time. You ain't right. Yeah. You met him one time. <laughs> Yeah, and he can't shake me. <laughs> my wife, my wife, she don't know you. Y'all got too much shade out here. No, we don't either. What are y'all cooking? Fried pies. Peach, too. Yeah, Is that the specialty at pig stand? It is right now. We sell out every day. So how many do you make a day? About 30, 35. Is that the biggest seller y'all got? Oh, no, our baked beans are the biggest seller. Everybody says he's a real gone cat. Get out of here. Get out of here. 